friends, today I want to tell you everything about my flight to Spain and why we almost did not make it because they didn't want to let me check in. So watch the video in order to see what happened. So this morning we had a very early wake up call. We woke up at 3 a.m. because our flight was at 6 a.m. So we had to be at the airport early. And we arrived just in time and my dad actually queued and my mom and I just sat by the side so I could relax a little bit more and I didn't have to like stand in line for half an hour or one hour. And then it was our time to check in and you cannot believe it guys, like they didn't want to let me check in because they said I would be too tall to fly and I mean with the carrier and my collar i was weighing 7.6 kilograms and i'm allowed to weigh up to 8 kilograms so everything with that was fine and then i also have a carry-on bag for like the flight and it's tall enough because i'm like sleeping anyways and i'm lying down and i can walk at the airport and it's just like the two and a half to three hour flight so we actually argued with them for like five minutes and they didn't want to let me fly because they said I was too tall and then they sent us to another supervisor so we had to go actually to another check-in counter and we could not find a supervisor there so we asked another woman and they just like she just checked me in like she just weighed me again and she was like okay fine where are like the EU passport and then you need to sign this paper and everything was good so it's really just like up to luck whether you have a nice check-in person or like one that's more strict or we don't even understand because the rules are so different and then also it depends on the size of the carrier but then it needs to be tall but then also the guidelines say that it needs to be small carrier so yeah i don't really understand but we were just like so so lucky that we got to check in and i basically slept through the whole flight which was like two and a half hours and then when we like uh, got off the plane or like when the first people got off the plane my parents just like fed me some of my food which was my first meal that day and then we picked up our car from the rental car counter and drove like another 30 minutes to the city where we live and then we immediately went for a super nice walkie which was fun and then my parents bought me some new dry food which I can have for the next couple of months or weeks because we weren't able to bring like seven or eight kilograms of food with me to Spain and that worked out very well so now we can combine my dry food from home and then the dry food from here and then I get used to the new food easily so yeah we made it we were lucky but we're just like so happy to be here and i would love to take you guys along so if you want to see more content from spain and also more updates just subscribe to my channel and you won't miss any future videos and then we'll see each other next time mm -hmm.